Yeah, I think the learning program has been uh, very important uh, for three reasons in my view. Number one, uh, it's provided a very good forum for discussion uh, and frank uh, you know, sharing of views and opinions. And these are, uh, the, such sharing is very important because it also provides us with pointers and opportunities for uh, improving uh, our work. Uh, our own thinking, how we uh, interact as well as uh, support our clients, number one. Number two, uh, in that uh, same vein, sharing of recent developments, uh, knowledge and information on what is going on uh, across the ADB is very important. And number three, networking, uh, of bringing professionals uh, who are working in different sectors, different countries, which is very important. mainstreaming means making it, when I say it, in this case it is the GPM, um, making it seamless. Uh, when we mainstream GPM, what we should aim to achieve uh, is a total change of mindset. When people are working on any uh, operate, ADB operations in any sector, GPM concerns should come automatically uh, in their mind. Uh, they should basically live um, GPM in my view. Governance is, uh, I would compare that to oxygen. Uh, you have uh, an adequate dose of it, uh, our quality of life is very good. Oxygen level goes down, the quality of life goes down. Public management, it's like um, nutrition. Uh, public management should be uh, effective and efficient. Uh, for uh, in any sector, it doesn't matter. GPM to me is so integral uh, to ADB's life, uh, and then these two things have to, uh, they're like vital organs. In addition to government ownership, we need, uh, particularly in the GPM case, we need ownership at a few diff other levels also. Uh, you know, for instance, ownership uh, at the civil society level is very important. And also we need to make sure that we promote awareness amongst people uh, in order to make sure that uh, there is no apathy or there is no indifference. You know, people may get easily disenchanted when we talk about GPM. So it's very important that uh, there is fuller ownership. In the area that I'm working on, which is, as you know, regional cooperation and integration, there are several ways, but I'll just give you a couple of examples. Uh, number one is uh, when we talk about RCI, very important to look at both benefits uh, and costs of what RCI initiatives bring to countries. In this context, very important to uh, increase ownership of particularly smaller countries and the way we can do it is by demonstrating that particular RCI initiatives would produce greater uh, net benefits uh, for them or greater benefits and costs. Um, uh, that is very important to make sure that uh, all the countries, small and large alike, come to the table uh, with uh, full heart. The second example that I wanted to share with you is if we take one of the pillars of RCI strategy, Let's take customs modernization, for instance. Uh, we can demonstrate to the governments that modernizing customs would have a lot of benefits. Uh, not that they don't know, uh, but we do need to show that by providing proper incentives, uh, how have countries that have done this well uh, have reaped uh, much larger benefits. But I think if we change the mindset of ADB staff who are uh, approaching these operations, uh, we can certainly achieve a lot of things mm -hmm. in what we do.